Hello ladies and gentlemen, on today's episode I'm going to be doing a little bit of bass fishing slash carp fishing. Um, this is my fifth day out. I haven't caught anything. So I kind of, I gave in a little bit. I was going to just do bass fishing. But since I haven't been catching anything, I thought I'd cheat a little bit and at least give some kind of fishing content. I'm going to carp fish because for me it's a lot easier to catch carp around here where I live than bass. I mean there are bass around here but it's just much easier to catch carp. Carp are everywhere in every pond I fish but I'm trying to go for um, carp today. Brought some corn and uh, we're going to see how that does for me. I'm only going to fish until I guess my battery dies on the GoPro. See where I go from there. But yeah, I forgot to bring my charger for it. I'm just gonna be fishing till then. All right, I'll see you at the spot. All right, what I'm using is a generic, you know, slide swivel clip with a one and a half ounce. I said there's a swivel with a, I got probably a little bit longer leader than I should. It should be probably anywhere between, I don't know, 10, 12 inches or so. Mine's about 16, 18. But I'm going to be using some corn. How I put like to put it on is I'll just grab one at a time and almost just cover the whole hook in it, all but the point. You want as many as you can fit on there. Not only does it kind of cover up your hook, but it just looks like a giant pile of corn just laying right there. So what I like to do before I chum the water is I'll throw this out there first, and then after I throw it out there is when I will is where I'll chum the water because then I know where my hook is. It's much easier to throw the corn to your hook than throw your hook to the corn. Um, that's how I, I find it much easier. So I chum out there a little bit. You know, make sure you chum in front of your rod as well. Because sometimes the corn drifts down.
Got him. <clears throat> Hope I got that on camera. I smoked it. It's not the biggest. <laughs> it's under a pound. But I caught one. Finally. Alright, let's get this guy back in the water. Right at the end of the day. All right. Worked all day for that guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that will conclude my day. I had one hell of a one hell of a day here. I brought my carp poles and everything, trying to think that I would actually catch some carp. I was actually more confident in catching carp than I was a bass today. All I was doing today was just practicing. That last little bit there where I caught that bass was completely unexpected. I was just practicing today. I was practicing my techniques, practicing flipping, practicing um, side hand cast, overhand cast, backhand cast. So I was, I was just practicing there. I went to my first spot. It didn't do so good. I, I thought it would have done, because I seen carp there when I was there, so I figured it was going to be pretty good. But it turns out that that was a big flop. So then I walk maybe another half mile, three quarters of a mile to another spot. And I fish there. Same same results. Nothing. So I just headed back to the car. Went down to this little park that I'm at now. And I was just trying to catch a carp. Because I figured, truthfully, that would have been... If I was going to catch anything today, my best chances was a carp. I didn't think it was going to be a bass. I was throwing a swim bait. And I was just kind of just slowly, slowly retrieving it. And then I would just kind of give it some jerks every now and again. And that's all I was really doing. When I was bringing it in, I kind of felt it. Uh, like it just... if. The, the line felt a little heavier and then I kind of seen it kick off to the right and then I just set the hook and then the bass started swimming right and I got him on there he was really close to the bank but I was hoping I'm hoping you guys can see that because it was getting kind of dark so I don't know if they caught if that got caught on film or not I'm going back out tomorrow and this this one's probably gonna be a short a short clip you know you see my struggles of the day because today wasn't the best but I did manage to catch one bass um, it was a grind I'm not gonna lie I'm hoping that tomorrow will will bring, be better luck it'll be early in the morning and I'm hoping that that does me some luck but I just got that one day it was maybe a pound but it wasn't very big so I'm hoping tomorrow can bring me some luck and I'll have a good day tomorrow well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before I get today's episode going, it's bright and early in the morning, I gotta go pick up something that I left over at the spot I was fishing at yesterday. I, uh, <clears throat> I left my rod holder down there. Forgot to grab it. So I gotta make my way down there first before I can go to uh, the park that I'm gonna go be fishing at today. But, uh, yeah, so let me make my way down there first grab that and then we'll be off and stuff I might actually jog down there you know give me some exercise it's kind of cold this morning I'm at the river yeah it's kind of cold a little bit but it's to warm up some once the sun comes out so I'm not too worried about that I only got a few hours to fish today let me go get that and I'll see you guys at the other spot well, I'm at my new spot. I went ahead and went to another pond. Um, I know. After I went and had to go scoop up my my rod holder. But I'm here at the new spot. I'm about an hour and a half later than I wanted to be. It's 9.30 right now. I wanted to get here around 8, but that didn't pan out. So I only got a few hours left to fish uh, before I have to pack it up and go home. It's kind of chilly out, but we'll see if we can... If we can get a couple things to bite. And uh, 
we'll see you out on the water. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've come to the end of my day. I didn't catch anything. Big shocker there. It is still cold here. My hands were really freezing at the end. It started to snow. Uh, yeah, it's still really cold right now. And just remember, a bad day of fishing is always better than a good day at work. So I'll still take a bad day on the water any day over working, believe me. But, nope, I didn't catch anything today. But I'm hoping next week we'll start warming up and then eventually I can get out and our bass will start pre-spawning. It would be nice. I still probably got a couple more weeks before, even a month possibly, before the bass really start getting into pre-spawn mode. Yep, I guess I'm gonna sign off here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, probably this little short, more or less me talking than anything, but I appreciate you guys for watching. If you could, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. I said like my videos. Helps me know if I'm creating good content. It also pushes me to keep making more content. And until next time, I'll see you guys on another episode. Peace.